What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using the Paldea Firestarter Skelly Dirge in Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Skelly over here, I have not used this Pokemon in so long. So once I saw this rental team made by my boy Charizard, I was like, yo, I gotta get after it. I gotta use this team. But this team also features Trapgos, a very strong restricted Pokemon. And this Trapgos is holding the choice specs alongside with Terra Shift. Obviously, it has the stellar terror type with Terra Star Storm, Earth Power, Hyper Beam, and Ice Beam. Now, a lot of Trapagos' rock calm mine and try to boost, but in this instance, we got the choice specs. Gonna make this thing do a ridiculous amount of damage, especially with Hyper Beam. Hyper Beam is a high base damage move. On top of that, it gets a stab boost. This thing is gonna hit like an absolute truck. Let's talk about Skelly Dirge now. Now, Skelly Dirge has a great ability of unaware. Furthermore, it has the safety goggles. It has Torch Song, Shadow Ball, Will-O-Wisp, and War. This is a great Pokemon for countering Zamazentas. It won't be affected by Body Press, considering that's a fighting move. This is a Ghost-type Pokemon. And furthermore, Torch Song is going to be super effective. We love that. Skelly Dirge, awesome Pokemon. Super excited to be using them today. Our final four Pokemon on today's team feature a few meta Pokemon. You got Urshfu and Robum for the physical attacking side of things. Then you got Whimscott and Rageable. Whimscott's going to be there for Tailwind support. And Rageable's going to be a great special attacker with that Assault Vest. Guys, you want to run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop to our first match showcasing the Skelly Dirge Rank Regulation G team. Moving on to our first match for today's video, we're going up against a Groudon and Hisuian Typhlosion team. Now, Hisuian Typhlosion obviously learns Eruption, one of the best fire moves in the game, so we're going to have to watch out for that. On top of that, they got Incineroar, they got Dragonite, they got Whimsicott, and Rock Ogre Pond. So, our only way of really countering weather would be Terrapicos Terrasalizing, so we're definitely going to want to bring that Pokemon. Um, another good Pokemon here could be Skelly Dirge. I mean, Torch Song is going to get powered up. It can do some big damage, but a lot of their Pokemon do... Um, soak up fire moves rather well, such as Typhlosion, Dragonite, and Incineroar. I mean, it's going to be neutral onto Groudon and super effective onto the Whimsicott, which is good. So, definitely want Skelly Dirge here. Definitely want Skelly Dirge. But speed is going to be a factor here. We're going to bring Whimsicott in here for the lead. I like Whimsicott for our lead. I could also lead Terrapicos and maybe just look to dump on a Pokemon, right? Maybe just look to dump on a Pokemon. You don't have Protect, but mm, you're probably going to lead Incineroar. Let's be honest here. I might just go Skelly Dirge. I might just go Skelly. I might just go Skelly here. I do like having Skelly Dirge on the field. So I'm going to go Skelly Dirge. I am going to end up bringing Terrapagos. And last but not least, it's tough. Either Rillaboom or Urshifu. I think I'm going to go Urshifu here. I think I am going to end up going Urshifu. Or I could go in with you. You know what? We're going to go Urshifu. I get that you're gonna have Sun up, but maybe, just maybe, we could take it out with our ter Terrasalization Trap Ghost and have Urshu really driving out there. So, we'll see how this one plays out here. We got two Choice Scarf Pokemon, we got a Support Pokemon, and on top of that, we got the Alligator slash Crocodile, whichever one it is, right? I couldn't tell you which one it is. I can't really tell you the difference between Alligators and Crocodiles, but it's all good. They're gonna go Ogre Pound Wimscott. We go Skelly Dirge and, and Wimscott. So, from here, I think we just go Tailwind for Tailwind. Um, I'm curious to see if our Wimscott is faster, because I can always Encore their Wimscott. And our Wimscott's flying here. Real quick. Real quick. And honestly, I'd rather just stagger these Tailwind turns. So I'm going to go for Helping Hand here. And I'm going to Terrasalize in Water. I'm just going to send it over into the Ogre Pond slot. I'm going to launch this over into Ogre Pond slot. I understand that we are going into Water Tower type up against a Grass type Pokemon. But I still feel fine about this because Sword Song should be able to do a nice chunk of damage. If I had to guess, they want to go for an Ivy Cudgel here, which is a little scary. And I think from here we could just always hard swap if we want to. So I'm going to go for Helping Hand. We're going to look to do some nice damage here. They're probably going to go for a Tailwind. And no, they're sticking with Moonblast here. So they might double down to Whimsicott. No, they're not. So again, we're going to have to go for Tailwind next turn. I think they have the same idea as us. My Skelly Dirge is able to survive. Here. The Torch Song flies here. Not bad damage, and we're gonna get a nice little special attack boost. So from here, we're gonna go for a tailwind. I could honestly just like encore you guys into whatever, but I'd rather get off this tailwind. So I'm gonna go for tailwind, and we might just have to sacrifice our skelly dirt here. That might have just been a waste of Terra. That honestly might have been a waste of Terra. Hopefully, Wim's got an attack again. You know, we're just gonna stay in here. We are just going to stay in here. 
I'm gonna look to bring Wimscott down. So we go for Tailwind. We are out speeding here. Hopefully they're not going for Tailwind of their own. Let's see what they got cooking here. No, they're going for Moonblast again. That's fine by me. So Moonblast is gonna KO us. They're probably gonna focus that shot. Maybe we should have just taken out the uh, the Ogre Pond. But I like this Torch Song flying on this slide here. We need to sing down to Sash. He's gonna Sash up. He's definitely gonna pop a Tailwind next turn. And yeah, I should have saved my Terror because you're going for Horn Leech now, aren't you? Tough news for us. Tough news for us. Kind of tough. It was kind of tough. I was hoping that, uh... I was hoping that our Torch Song could have did more damage to that Ogre Pond. But it is what it is. Need that boost first. We definitely need that boost. But yeah, I wish we had more Protects on this team, to be honest with you. We have no Protects going on here. Not a singular Protect. So from here, we're going to go into Serapagos, and then we're just going to go into Urshfu. Now, Urshfu, going to be pretty good for us. For the purpose of choice spec in the Tailwind. We can now just get rid of Ogre Pond. And I feel as Tarap goes, do we choice in a Hyper Beam? That's the real question. I really would like to choice in a Hyper Beam. To be honest with you, but at the same time, it's like, it's tough. I'm definitely choosing in a Hyper Beam. I want to hope that Wimscott swaps, but it's not going to swap. That's a problem. That's the problem. Wimscott is not swapping here. We're going to double down in this slot. Just in case he wants to swap in like Kyogre. There's a Tailwind. Urshfu is going to outspeed. It is going to KO you. Luckily, I still have my Terra Shell, which is pretty good. So we're going to KO you with Surgeon Strikes. And we're going to KO Wimscott with Hyper Beam. Now, our next turn is kind of tough. It's kind of tough, considering they're sitting here with... With uh, our Terrapagos low on each... Or not low on HP. Recharging each turn. But if I could just land a nice big time, uh, if I could just land a nice big time uh, Hyper Beam into whatever Pokemon, it's gonna do some damage. It's gonna do some damage. Typhlosion is gonna come out here. But I think they have Kyogre. It's Groudon. That's not too bad. I mean, again, we should outspeed and we can just go after Typhlosion. Blades is looking a little scary. And this is where I go for Surgeon Strikes into you, and I recharge this turn. So let's see, hopefully Groudon protects this turn. I mean, I doubt Groudon protects. It would be a stupid protect considering Urshfu can hit through protects and and Terrap goes is recharging. So if they protect, that's just awesome for us. But yeah, I definitely should have saved our Terra. I should have saved our Terra. I think using it on Skelly Dirge was just a bad call. It really was. But we're going to see a Terra pop out from here. Hopefully it's into Groudon. And no, it's into Typhlosion. Of course, it's always the Pokemon I want to attack. And he's going straight fire, so that's... That's fine by me. I know we're outspeeding him. Unless he's choice as well. But even if you are choice, are we still outspeeding you? That's the real question. We are outspeeding, which is big. And this is doing some nice damage. Not enough, though, I don't think. Actually, that's cutting it close. KO it. 1 HP. Are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? <laughs> 1 HP. We love it. We love it. Trap Ghost is outspeeding both of them, but after this, it's not going to be able to. We're going to Terra Shell and... Oh, man. I think their extra Tailwind turns are just going to bite us. So, Flamethrower comes through here. Getting through Terra Shell. KOing us. That's got to be true spec. That's ripping. You lived on one HP. That hurts the soul. That hurts the soul. Precipice Blades flies through here. And that does some nice damage. So, honestly, they probably still win this match regardless. I mean, I'm going to go for Aqua Jet. Actually, I can't. I'm, I'm choice. But, yeah, this is just... It's just over at this point. 1 HP. We should have saved our Terra type. Would have been been in our best interest. But it's all good. Actually, did we have one more turn left in Tailwind? If our Terrapagos just survived that turn, we win. We maybe win. We would need Hyper Beam to kind of KO Groudon. But hey, GG to our opponent. That one's on me regardless. I Terrasalize our Skelly Dirge in a terrible situation. We definitely could have used that Terra late in the game here. Neutralizing that fire damage. And on top of that, getting rid of the sun. But there he is. 0-1. Let's go hop to our second match. Use Skelly Dirge a little bit better. Second match coming at you guys, and we're going up against another Sun team. We're not going to make the same mistake. We're going to break Trap Ghost, and we're going to save it for taking out the Sun. I might honestly just lead this Pokemon. Just a solid Pokemon all around. I mean, we don't really have to lead it, but it could be a solid lead. They also have Incineroar. They have two Protosynthesis Pokemon with Fluttermane and Rage Bolt. They have Tornadus, who we can definitely see as a lead. And last but not least, they are rocking out with Amoongus. A nice little scary Pokemon. I mean, Skelly Dirge could be pretty good here. 
actually could be really good here. And I'm going to actually lead it because it actually kind of counters Karidon pretty well. Considering it's going to uh, be not very effective in the fire moves. And it cannot take a collision course, which is good. I like that. And fake outs. No fake outs on that as well. So I'm going to go into Skelly Dirge here. Uh, do we have to match their speed? Kind of a little bit. Could go into Raging Bolt maybe. And just like web. With the, with the best. That's not bad. That's not bad. Because I really don't want to bring Wimscott. I'm not gonna sit here a lot. I really don't want to bring him, Scott. I mean, you don't have protect though. Slight problem there. You know what? We're gonna go into you. We're gonna go Urshfu. Nice but not least. We're gonna go to Rapidus. Alright, cool. So we're not gonna bring Wimscott. I mean, again, if they want to go into speed with Tornadas, we do have, we have to help us out a little bit. Plus, we have a choice scarf Urshfu in the back end. That's gonna be pretty much my play. And again, we have to save Tarapkos. We have to save Tarapkos. Unless we really don't need it, right? I just have to think long and hard before I actually terrestrialize. Just think about what they have. But they're gonna end up leading Tornadus and Raging Bull. Okay, so Tornadus Raging Bull come through here. Not too bad for us. I mean, I don't mind this lead. I mean, Eweb could be good for us, and I can start boosting with Torch Song. What's we gonna do? I'm gonna go Eweb here. Actually, <laughs> what's your speed here? I have Vest. I should be able to soak up a Jerkin Meteor if they want to pop a Jerkin Meteor. Do I rip a Draco Meteor into him? He might use his Terra. You know what? I'm just going to E-Web here. Yep, he's going to use his Terra. Cool. So I was going to rip a Draco Meteor, but I chose not to. Again, I have Vest, so I should be able to soak a Draco Meteor. It is kind of scary, but let's see how this one plays out here. We are going to start ripping Torch Songs, which I love. Love me a good old Torch Song. The Tailwind is going to fly here from him. You got to be going for Draco Meteor, right? You got to be Meteor me. Now you're going for Snarl. Who's dodging this? Raging Bolt dodged it. So Raging Bolt dodges a Snarl. That's not too bad. I mean, I have Snarl myself. And E-Web's gonna fire. So we're slowing him down just a tad bit. We are actually boosting our special attack back to normal. Which is good for us. Short Song gonna cook. Short Song cooking our special attacks back to normal. So we're even on special attack. Um, but honestly, just roar you. I might just roar this thing. Just so it stops pestering me. And honestly, just go into a thunderclap this turn. Just like to get rid of you. Yep, thunderclap. Bop. See you later. Get it on out my face. And we'll roar this Pokemon. We, we, we don't feel like dealing with it right now. Let's be honest here. He's going to go for Dragon Pulse. Alright. Dragon Pulse chipping up a little bit of damage. Roar this guy out of the way. And we'll force out pretty much everybody. I mean, he can bring back out that Pokemon if he wants to. But I just want to swap it out. I just don't feel like dealing with it. We get to see Amoongus. So Amoongus comes out here. Cool. Amoongus on the field. They don't have Terra, which is good. I can go right into Torch Song into that. Do some nice damage. And if I had to guess, their final Pokemon is going to be Coridon, right? Is it Coridon? It is Coridon. So we have a nice little Terra for that. He's going to bring out the Harsh Sunlight. So Harsh Sunlight comes out here. I have safety goggles. You can't put me to sleep. And honestly, I just love going in Torch Song here. So I'm going to rip another Torch Song. And do I just keep slowing him down, or do I go for a Draco Meteor here? I feel like I go for a Draco Meteor here. I mean, Rage Bolt most likely could be dying this turn, so going into a Draco Meteor is not bad. I'm just going to go for a UF Scale Shot. It's an odd move to have on Karidon, but it works perfectly here. You're going to pick up KO. I hope you're going for Spore here. I got safety goggles. He has no idea. No idea. Torch Song. Oh, your defense going to drop. But you're going to get a Speed Boost, aren't you? That's a little scary. Sports gonna come out here. Not working. Not working. Thank you, safety goggles. Have a day, safety goggles. The torch song gonna cook here. The torch song wiping out Amoongus. We love it. Now we can bring out Terrapagos. Now's the time to bring out Terrapagos and get rid of the weather. So we played this one really well so far. Now I get rid of weather. I can have Choice Scarf Urshfu in the back end. The tailwind ends. And no sun. And your Terrasalize. So my uh my Choice Spec. What is it called? Choice Spec. Can't even think of that move. Terra Star Storm, I think it's called. It's going to be super effective. Beautiful. Lovely. Yeah, your person to this boost is going to be gone. It's going to be gone. We're not dealing with that. We simply are not dealing with that. Now, I'm going to throw a Will O Wisp over into you. And honestly, yeah, we're going to hit that Terra Slice button. Drop a Terra Star Storm. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it. Choice Spec on top of that, too. So I believe Raging Bolt really not eating this up. I mean, you could snarl me. 
neutralize some damage, but if I could just land this will o on the Coridon, it's gonna be nice. Plus, Coridon's not doing too much damage without the Sun and his Oracle Pulse boost. But yes, Gally Dirt Strap goes here in match number two, ready to go. And I told myself, I, I was gonna save my Trap Goose, and that's exactly what we did. He ends up protecting, so you're wasting out your own Tailwind turns. That's fine by me. And you're gonna go for a Snarl. And Trap Goose <laughs> dodges it regardless. Trap Goose dodging it regardless. Now, Skelly Dirge is back to even here, which is totally fine. Terra Star Storm should just absolutely rip into this, uh, this, uh, Raging Bolt. And that should pretty much wrap up this game, correct? Terra Star Storm, bye bye. Choice Spec. Actually, not bye bye. No bye byes. No bye byes. I thought bye byes were happening. That would be nice. But another one will KO. You could be vested as well. Their tail went finally gone. We're just going to do the same exact thing. Go Will O Wis. Go into Terra Star Storm. We're going to say thanks for playing, pretty much, right? Thunderclap going to fly here. Not doing nearly enough damage into my Therapagos. Actually, Collision Course can actually hit pretty hard. Should soak this, though. Right, Terry? You don't. Can I land this will o -Wisp, please? Can I please land this will o -Wisp? Yeah, we lost. We, we lost now. Are you kidding me? We're going to lose now? We are really going to lose this game now? This is how we're going to lose this game. So I got my Urshfu out here. Aqua Jet definitely going to be in our best interest. Um, I want to throw will o -Wisp onto this thing, but I can't land one. He's going to go for Thunderclap. I'm going to Aqua Jet his Thunderclap. And we're going to be choice into that. So Aqua Jet, the next Aqua Jet can KO there. There's Thunderclap. Cool. Now land this will o -Wisp. That's all I need to do here. That's all I need to do here. You should soak this, Urshfu. You should soak this. Can I land this will o -Wisp? will o -Wisp does land. Okay, cool. So from here, I can Aqua Jet through his Protect if he wants to use it. We're just going to say bye-bye to Raging Bolt. Why, why is this game making this, this match hard for me? Finally, I land that will o -Wisp. And... Do I boost my special attack here, or do I just start dealing damage? So what am I? Am I still neutral here? I'm going to boost my special attack here. I'm going to go into here. Aqua Jet should KO you. You can't protect through it or anything, so we're going to say bye-bye to Raging Bolt. Whew. Game making this one hard for me. Aqua Jet gonna fly through here. You should not be able to KO my any of my Pokemon, right? You're burned now. Unless you get a crit. Oh man. I just said it. So they're gonna get a crit with Collision Course here. You should soak this. Unless it's a crit. Unless it's a crit. Cool. Alright. Beautiful. The Skelly Dirge actually clutching up for us. Torch Song's gonna fly. We only use this for that special attack boost. And I can start throwing Shadow Balls around. Oh my lord. Game was way this match was way was way harder than it needed to be, right? <laughs> way harder than it needed to be. Shadow Ball gonna fly through here. We're choosing Aqua Jet. We're gonna throw it his way. Yeah, burn damage shipping up. Wonder if he's gonna go after yeah, he's gonna go after Urshfu here, which is fine. I'd rather you go after Urshfu at this point. KO Urshfu. Cause honestly, what do you got? You got scale shot. Scale shot's looking a little scary. But again, you're burned. You're burned. You should not be able to KO me. You just shouldn't. And Shadow Ball's just getting it done. My boy Skelly Dirge! Battle number two MVP right there. We love this guy. Alligator gets after it. We're sitting one on one. Let's go hop into our third. Not gonna lie, once they collision core star Trapagos, I thought we lost that match, but then I realized we got ourselves Chewy Scarf or Urshfu, and we got Skelly Dirge, and they clutched up for us. But we're going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team here in match number three. Um, gonna be tough. Definitely going to be tough looking at their team. Heavy on the Trick Room side, and we don't really counter Trick Room too well. I mean, I do have Encore, which could be good. Encore and their Trick Room Pokemon. But if their Trick Room Pokemon is for a Raph, which it most likely will be, then we're sitting here struggling a little bit, right? We will be sitting here struggling a little bit. Honestly, I could just roar their Trick Room Pokemon. Did not think of that. And I'm going to do that. If they go for Rick Raph, we're just going to roar for Rick Raph. You can't fake me out. I love that. I love that. So honestly, Skelly Dirge is going to be our lead here. We're going to go Skelly Dirge here. I am going to also go in with Choice Scarf Urshifu. I do like that. I do like the Choice Scarf Urshifu. That's going to be my play. I mean, you could go for like Rage Powder, but I have safety goggles on him as well. War is going to be awesome. 
I'm gonna go to Rap Ghost here, and last but not least, I would like to have a fake out user. I think just having a fake out user just to waste out some turns, or would I rather have a Salt Vest? Huh. I think having a fake out user is gonna be a little bit better for us. I like it. I like it. Cool. Alright, so this war could actually be real clutch. I don't think they're expecting it. It's just saying, they have two trick room setters. One you can't, one's gonna be for a graph, the other one's going to be Ice Rider Calyx. Another thing is, you can't fake me out. I'm a ghost type Pokemon. On top of that, you can't spore me, you can't rage powder me. It's beautiful. So our saloon is gonna fly through here. We have a great lead going here. We have a lovely lead. And I'm just gonna go into Roar. Into Ferrigraph. And I'm gonna go into Surgeon Strikes. Do I Terrastalize Surgeon Strikes? I think I do. You could swap into maybe like a Moogus, but I don't mind this. I don't mind this. You're gonna withdraw Ursula. Yep, you're gonna swap right into a Moongus. Rocky Helmet, correct? A rack with it. Ah, I'm choice now. I'm choice. I'm gonna have to swap my boy. But I don't mind this because. Because we're roaring. We're gonna say, yo, trick room. Ah, it, it ain't happening right now. So we use our terror right here. We're gonna save our trap goes for just hyper beams, hyper beams only. Um And Surgeon Strike, you are not water bubbled? You're not water bubbled. Okay, that's actually a lot better for us because we actually get off some damage. We actually get off some damage. Usually, a raccoon needs water bubble and it just like, or water absorb and it just gets HP back. So, hey, I'll take that all day. Now we're gonna, you're gonna go for a psychic instead. Okay. So, you're not even popping trick room. That's fine by me. I'm gonna be able to roar you out of here. I'm gonna say, yo, get on out my face. And you're gonna throw out Ursaluna. So now it's a great turn for us to just certain strikes into that slot again. And for us to actually maybe just double down here. Or probably just go towards Song and Booster Special Attack. Hmm. I'm actually just gonna double down into Raquinid. I don't think he really wants to take some damage from my from my boy here. I'm gonna double down into Raquinid. And now he's just gonna stay in here with Ursaluna. We should have just attack Ursaluna. The reason I doubled down into Iraq when it here was I definitely want it dead. I don't want Liquidation just flying through here and KO me. So I leave this thing on like 3 HP. Torch Song should go next and just finish off Iraq when it. Yep. That's fine by me. And are you going to take out my Urshifu? This is the real question. Or are you going to go after like my Skelly Dirge? No one has Roar now. Could do that. You have options here. You're gonna for Earth Power. You are gonna get rid of my Skeletons, which is a smarter play. But you leave my you leave my boy on the field here. You leave my Urshfu on the field, which is nice for us. And you showed out your life for him. So from here, obviously I could go into a fake out user, but most likely they're gonna bring out Ferrigraph. You're most likely gonna bring out Ferrigraph. And this is where I choose into hyper voice. Well not hyper voice, hyper beam. I start attacking. So we probably should just surge strike the Ursaluda because we would have KO'd it. But I really thought it was going to swap again. I really did think they were going to swap again. The Serapa Ghost comes out here. They are going to bring out Ice Rider Calyrex. Ice Rider Calyrex. Now they want to pop Trick Room, obviously. They obviously want to pop Trick Room. And I think we just double down to Calyrex. I really do. We're going to go Hyper Beam. We're going to go Surgeon Strikes. And we're doubling right down to Calyrex. If it protects, it protects. I mean, we'll still get off the Surgeon Strikes in that slot. But as long as they don't set up Trick Room, it's the main thing that we don't want. The so Surgeon Strikes flying, pop, hit this thing three times, and Hyper Beam should be able to finish off Calyx. We just, again, we just don't want to deal with this. Uh, we just don't want to deal with this, what's it called? This Trick Room. So we KO Calyx, we have to recharge a turn. If I had to guess, are you going for Hyper Voice or are you going for like Blood Moon? I would think Hyper Voice. Now you go for Blood Moon. You're going to go after my Teller Shell to Rap Ghost. So you might leave. You leave my Urshfu for another turn. Survive this, Rap Ghost. Awesome. Thank you, Teller Shell. So I have to recharge this turn, obviously. I obviously have to recharge this turn. They're going to bring out Ferrigarath. Hmm. They still have Terra, which is kind of tough. And that would be a turn that they would use it on. What do I want to do here? I think I have to just start attacking Ursuline and maybe hoping this KOs. 
They don't trash us. Okay, that's game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. Night, night. So we countered the trick room really good, especially with war. And then just like kind of control him with Skelly Dirge and Trap Ghost and just attacking the trick room users. That's going to be game, set, match. Awesome. So 2-1 for today's video. Probably maybe should have went 3-0 if I played the first one a little bit better. But the first match, all we really needed to do was honestly just go into Terror Trap Ghost instead of wasting our Terror on Skelly Dirge. But hey, we made up for it match number two and match number three. Winning record with Skelly Dirge Trap Ghost. What more could you guys ask for? But he ends up just dumping on me with Psychic. I get to bring out my boy right here. And I can drop a big time wood hammer. A big time wood hammer. A big time wood hammer. But yeah, really surprised they didn't use their terror. I mean, honestly, they're probably just more scared to use terror with Terrapkos on the field. That's a scary thing. But now I can just hyper voice. I can just go into wood hammer here. Actually, I can just grassy glide. I'd rather have hyper hyper beam KO. Why do I keep saying hyper voice? It's hyper beam. Ursa Luna has Hyper Voice. You have Hyper Beam. But yeah, that's game. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing. I don't think they stand a chance. You're not, because you're not, you're not surviving this Hyper Beam. It's just doing a ridiculous amount of damage with the choice specs. With stab boost as well. So, why am I using Grass God? What am I doing? What am I doing? I, I might deserve to lose this game, but Hyper Beam might just KO. And it leaves him in red. He's going to end up going for Psychic. We outspeed this thing anyway. So I'll just wood hammer next turn. And my trap ghost survived. Lovely little trap ghost. Nice little turtle. And now we can go for a wood hammer because I'm stupid. Because I'm stupid and I went for a grassy glide. What was I doing? <laughs> I really just went for grassy glide there. Honestly, the only reason I went for grassy glide was because I only want to do a little bit of damage and just have hyper beam just KO. But totally forgot about armor tail, which was stupid of me. But if this was like an actual like big time match, I would have just... Went Woodhammer, right? Would have played it smart. If this was Tournament, I would have just went Woodhammer. But there's Woodhammer now. Gonna take out for a graph. We say night night. We go 2 1 for today's video. The Paldean Firestarter Skelly Dirge getting after it in today's video. Haven't used this Pokemon in so long, and I'm glad we grabbed ourselves a winning record with it. Torch Song, boosting our special attack, Shadow Ball, doing some nice stab damage, Will O Wisp, burning physical attackers, and more. Swapping out Pokemon. We actually used every single move to their fullest potential and showed off this Pokemon really well. Obviously, we also had Terrap because with that choice specs and Hyper Beam doing big time damage, but the team all around was phenomenal. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spend some positive day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.